Well, after that successful fall stage with the Pilsagan attack on the last climb, we actually got the yellow juice with the Pilsagan. And it just means that uh, we have some new objectives for this Tour de France at, f at the moment. And let's try to uh, keep it, but not for all costs, because we also have make sure that Alberto Contador has some helpers in the mountains later on. Because there's coming some few uh, dreadful mountains before the actually first uh, week uh, is finished, or first nine days is finished. Um, and until then, we just want to make sure we are stay Contador as close for the yellow, uh, yellow jersey and Sagan, of course, try to get the green jersey. So when he gives the yellow jersey to another person, he has the green jersey to work for. And you see, this stage is called Limoge Le Lurin. Uh, and it's actually a tough state at the finish. It could probably be a state that Sagan could defend his yellow jersey, and but you see also Valverde is one of the favorites for the states with Dan Martin and Baigo Molima. Uh, but it's also a state where we can actually make a difference uh, on the all classification and try to do an attack with Contador, but not again, not for all cost. And see the stage is going in the middle of the middle of France uh, and go between some mountains and stuff. Um, and again, it's only a small stage where we can look forward to the future. And first of all, we need to make sure we are getting the right um, objective. We don't put no one in a breakaway, there's no need for that. We should make sure we control the peloton from start to finish. And I say one of the objectives for Contador is to finish top 5 and cross here top 10 uh, and Pelsagan to retain the yellow jersey. If I do those objectives, I'll probably get a good good uh, moral boost for the next few stages. Um, else we actually don't have any objectives we should go for. Uh, we don't go for the mountain jersey, of course. Uh, we should try to do it if we're gonna lose everything, uh, but then we have Micah for that. But in the long run, uh, there's no need to go for that. And first of all, we need to make sure that um, we can try to regain the pocket of jersey with Mika Velkrain. But it's not an uh, objective we should actually go for uh, all costs. We should see plenty of movement for the favourites, for the overall standings obliged to come to the fore. But we might as well just okay, try guys. to go for it at the first and see how fast bad. fast we can go away with this. Uh, I probably don't want to let him go too Good fast. Um, and it's not because he can take so many points, but at least he can take some points. Or at least take some of the sprint up points for Sagan. Um, and for, for that we need to make sure we have a decent Breakaway. Okay, I'll protect him. As you see here, we uh, had to make sure we are protecting three captains because Micah is not a captain here at this kind of stages. Uh, it's more like a Kreuziger uh, ending, as you saw before the start of the stage. And then, uh, of course, Contador should be protected no matter what. And Sagan should be protected also because he is still a uh, part of this team uh, who actually can do a difference. And Tom Bonas are taken from. Uh, the Peloton same as Don Van Marken. Bone is not uh, going for, maybe it's just going for sprint points, we don't know. Uh, he's not the same kind of person he used to be, so he's not a good sprinter anymore. He's uh, most comfortable on short climbs. So Mountains I would guess that uh, his objective is just to go for sprint himself. points. this and wait for Bone and then get up and Svensson Marga. Svensson Marga is also a good rider to have in this in a group like this uh, because he's fairly good, fairly, fairly fast on these kind of stages. 
only until this rise, of course. It's looking good for the counterattack. You should perhaps wait for them. The finish is still a long way off. And while we wait for the group is coming up, we are recurring with uh, Valkyrie. And then we are working together with them just to see how far we can go. Nasser Buhani is undoubtedly among the best sprinters in the world. And now we are uh, at a time uh, in the stage where the, the Pilton have uh, come like six minutes in front of the... Uh, six minutes behind the front group and it also actually in a time where we actually had to think about what should we do. Should we try to get uh, attack or what? Um, but for now we just uh, follow this and we try to make sure at, that we can get up and get the mountain points of course. There's some sprint points out there we also need to take but for now we don't need them. Um, because we also f are keen on that Sagan can be part of that, the maybe top 10 in the last uh, climb. Um, until now. Uh, I have actually not worked with Valgrim because I don't need it. I don't. I have a f uh, favorite in the yellow jersey. That just means I don't need to work. And it looks like the team, the riders here, are actually accepting that because they haven't tried to do a count on me. They actually hasn't done anything. And it also means that uh, the group behind us hasn't made any actually acceleration. Um, and I just saved the energy I need uh, for the next uphill section. You're on your way to the top spot of the white jersey standings. It's great. Keep and going. See there, I'm close to the white jersey standings, but I don't gonna get it because it's too much. Uh, there's a lot of good riders. Uh, that actually can take the yellow, uh, the white jersey after this stage. See, uh, we actually get a lot of more time than, and it's because we don't work, uh, and this the two riders here are not working either. So it's actually, uh, for now, it's a win-win situation, but it's also a situation that actually can make us use more energy in the end, uh, because then uh, there's probably other teams are we're going to work for, for in the last part of this section because it's dreadful uh, and we have to make sure and be open for any attacks uh, and not uh, fall asleep he wants me to work and I don't want to work at all it's not my job my job is just to sit here and save some energy as possible Looking good. I have almost 10 minutes in front of the yellow jersey. And again, it's an, uh, we could actually just try to uh, do some more acceleration with uh, Valgren right now, but we don't need to because we have to save the energy for the first climb that gives like 5 points. Should be ready for a sprint. The tombo is probably going to take that. Uh, and he's. I'm fine by that. And we just talked before the state uh, with Valgren, and he actually said that uh, it was a state fit for him, but uh, under the circumstances, he wouldn't wouldn't expect he could allow to go away. But he talked to Considor just before the race and said that uh, that will be fine. Uh, he should just not use any effort and also make sure he doesn't 
attract a lot of riders. And Sagan also said that was fine. Because Sagan says I only want the green jersey. Uh, there's nothing more that I want to do for the fifth time. Six point five kilometer to the sprint, but uh, five kilometers is about to as on a downhill, so it's gonna be a fairly easy relaxing sprint. He seems interested in a stage win. And Bagheera put his team in front, he uh, is trying to work now. And that was one of the things I was thinking about, they probably would do some teams uh, have uh, agenda for this kind of stages. You're approaching the intermediate sprint. The first ten to pass the intermediate sprint score points towards the green jersey. He too seems interested in the stage win. Uh, his uh, surprising, also because uh, uh, that cost, uh, that just means Sky has to work. Set the pace up. Just have to be ready for Sagan. about to enter the first, uh, what does she say, mountain sprint, but it's just uh, the bottom, we are going down at the bottom, and uh, then it's actually Valkan's final job for today, because uh, he's not a person who actually can climb for all the points, uh, but we just need to see how he's gonna do this, uh, also because the pillars have been closing in, uh, of course, because it is time now for the pillars to, to move. Uh, also for Contendor and the whole team in general. So right now we're doing some uh, adjustment. And here we go, we have some adjustment here this should work out, uh, Kilikowski should also take a relay here so I'll we relay. begin to control the peloton at a fairly good speed I'll relay. thing we expected um, and actually I've got a better lead than you could imagine but again this fine it actually does look uh, as a hard stage but it is uh, especially in the end We 
going uphill. Um, and I could expect that the uh, bone are attacking maybe, just for the fun. And now we can actually see how much it's going up. That would also make us see how much the We should speak of uh, attacks from the ferrets, or maybe some of the uh, semi ferrets, the outsiders. Right now, it's only go 2.8 percent in general. It'll probably not go more than three, maybe four percent. So we should actually not expect any attacks before the second calorie climb. Look like a wall. It's actually a, a terrain that fits well, Green. Just not more than six percent, then you cannot use full. The first difficulty of the day is classified as second category. The riders will share five, three, two, and one point towards the polka dot jersey. The bone is uh, almost falling by now. We should take advantage of that. Use all the energy. Fall down. Eight seconds. Time to relax now. Use our last energy. Just hope it's enough. Four point seven percent. 2.6 kilometers. Doing good. It does it. We still have two kilometers before reaching the climb. It looks like it's gonna happen. Let's take the five points, that is important. The only thing they gotta work. I can make it sure I don't do this with bone or uh, synthemark and come with attack. The last 500 meters. You see the Pilton is moving harder now. Riders is falling behind. Synthemark are. And there is Velgren has the over the last at least for now defended the polka dot jersey. It's not even sure he's gonna hold it to the finish. But we have to see. And now we're gonna see what we can do for Contador and Sagan. And of course, uh, now Kreuzig is also one of the important riders we have to think about. to maintain the temple. Watch him. He must feel able to win the stage.
Put the uh, three guys in front uh, because now we need to make sure uh, we try to take control of this peloton. Trying to get under the peloton. Watch out! Yeah, the senior tries to take. He can just do that. It's not uh, important. The breakaway is passing through the feed zone. And now we have to make sure everyone is eating as best as he can. Okay, we'll consume a feed. Seen got one point. The breakaway is unlikely to go all the way, guys. Watch out for counter moves. It's, been, uh, it's hard to uh, to figure out what we should do here because <coughs> the uphill sections is not before Tim Kinner's for now, uh, and I don't want to do attack, and I don't want to actually work too hard to save energy. There's Lander, one of the outsiders. Valkling uh, is still on the still in the front group. Driver is in the group here, and when you quick speak, it was too tough uphill. And we return when we get closer to the mountain. Now we are going to the can we see, final phase of this uh, stage. Where we actually have to go up and we are thinking about uh, doing a tear with Kreuz again in a moment. He's a bad form, so maybe it's a good idea we cannot uh, figure out right now. There's no win. And it looked like that the uh, Kozlikov and Trubin of Bard didn't have the okay, same uh, we'll idea to relay. Dean Culver's in front, Spartacus. And there will come an attack on the first, obviously. That is, uh, the Peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. Not in the middle. They all try to get in front now. They're uh, putting a lot of speed in this that group in front. Uh, pushing it. We up to the front door now. Standings. Try to set up the pace here. First guy is down here. Eat food. And anti I have uh, objective for Bate, I think. Or Bergil. Um, they look like they are pushing it hard now. Talking of Kamafalo. Comes the door and okay. Group. Darren Thomas. The 
probably comes from attack in the moment by the pools. Rogers need to take control now. Same does Micah. Tough because next uphill section there uh, will come attacks. Did you try to take the last energy you have, try to get that last two points. Didn't get it. He's dead now. Yeah, what we should do. Sixty three riders left. Sagan is right there, Rogers is right there. And the Bears of Contador's form is not good. are onto the pad of parole, also called Pre Mary, a second category climb. The first ride at the top will pocket five points of the mountain standings. Rogers uh been his job is to protect Kreuziger now. And to protect uh, Sagan of course. Uh Micah should protect Contador. Okay, I'll protect him. Then Kreuziger should just be ready for an attack. Okay, I'll follow any attack. The breakaway is unlikely to go all the way, guys. Watch out for nice counter Nice to the top. Could be uh, a time where we should attack. The riders up front still have something left. They're upping the pace to try to hold out till the end. He comes to taking. He's asked his teammates to chase you down because you're dangerous for the overall standings. You're going to have to try and hold out. And come to the wall trying to attack more now. Watch out. There's an attack at the head of the peloton. It's now that the office part of the stage. Still have two kilometers before reaching the climb. Like 
Falcon is falling behind. Rodriguez falling off. Fuglsang is falling off. The old fall off now. Sagan is probably going to lose this now. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Now it's the final descent before the last uphill. Well done. You took the last climb. It prevents our competitors from stealing too many points. For Chick Sagan. Get a red kill. It's a fast descent to the cold repair too. Riders will have to stay back in the air. There are some sharp the, uh, ahead. Ideas, so we're taking. The peloton is one minute away. And it's the whole way down now to the finish. Just recover as much as possible. He hasn't used any energy at all on this Former map. Tour winner, Alberto Contador is one of the best climbers yeah, in the world. The way down. He should try to do that too. In the and it's uh, Bagbuna and Bade. He's one of the favorites for the race and the undisputed leader of his team. Watch out for him. One minute to the front group. Can he hold it all the way? It's gonna be tough. And Kreuzig is still in that group, but the uh, yellow jersey is gone. That is for sure. Second does yellow jersey now. Last time we can relax before we reach the next orbital section. The last 20 kilometers, uh, 10 kilometers up. And now it's going up again. The lead rider is at the foot of the cold repair tube. The penultimate climb of the day. Four kilometers to the top, and then it starts all the way down. So we need to hold it out here. Because there can happen a lot of things on this climb. The door can go blow up. As long as we save the energy, it's good because then we don't use too much effort when we actually reach the top and go down again and up again. because you're dangerous for the overall standings. You're going to have to try and hold out. It can actually look like I can take the yield jersey now, but again, it's gonna be tough to hold it because we have to use a lot of energy. And 
how does it look with the other riders? He should definitely use his. He doesn't have any more left. Rogers is dead also. He's losing ground to the pill to the front group or to Pilton, but it's fine for now. And Froome has been put off with the Kreuziger Froome. Froome has uh, lost contact to the Pilton. Oh, the last front group that is. Nibali, Begil, Mabert or Quintana. Room, by the pool, Scalaping, Kutskarski. Good support has. Here's the positions over the last climb. And now it's the last time we can save our energy. But there. Uh, and it looks good. Still, uh, only use half of the effort. Yeah, still. So we're not using too much energy, and that means you could just recover. Ten kilometers finish. It's gonna be tough. The downhill section I actually making a difference. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. The last uphill six in the current right now. Yeah, it looked like that uh, the attack we made with the uh, contador there actually. My teammate is down, but it's too close to the finish for help. Pelton and Atoms and our Michael is down, but there's nothing we can do about it, or we should do about it. Sadly, but uh, that is the fact. We have to focus on Contador right now. The lead rider is at the foot of the final climb of the day. It's going to be difficult for him to hold off those behind him. <laughs> He's trying to get under the peloton. Watch out! They're attacking. He's being left behind. It's good news for the overall standing. There's no peloton left there. Counter attack at the front of the peloton. Aquila attacking. You still have two kilometers before reaching the climb. Yeah, but Gilda are coming strong now. One kilometer to the top, and we have almost used all of our energy levels. Only one kilometer until the top. This is the last 500 meters, and this is probably the worst 500 meters he's gonna drive now. Reach it. He's moving on to the attack. Well done. You took the last climb. It prevents our competitors from stealing too many points. And it looks like we have this. And it's a win for Contador. There we go, Contador win the stage. 
A magnificent drive. That was excellent drive, but actually, make the attack was coming too out, of, uh, come too far away from the finish. I should probably have waited a minute because then I would probably not destroy my own team like that. But again, we did what we should do, and we tried to take the yellow jersey again, and we hold it, we keep it. It's fine. Um, it was one of those stages that was actually was surprising. Um, again, it was a hilly stage, but uh, I would not say that was a hilly stage, it was a mountain stage. Maybe not for the points, but for the climbs. But uh, it's a stage, uh, usually uh, uh, Rodriguez would probably, in his younger days, could uh, be part of this. Um, I was surprised to see Bagil and Bade was part of this trio. We also saw uh, Valverde was um, attacking, it didn't work. We saw Froome was actually uh, loss, uh, losing uh, time. Uh, Kreuziger was not uh, in his best shape. Sagan lost his yellow jersey. Again, Sagan was, was not our main objective for this yellow jersey. It was actually lo just lucky he got it the last round, uh, last stage, uh, with that attack. We didn't expect it. We just expect a stage victory. But let's see the. Oh, classification. He succeeded in avoiding all the pitfalls to win today. Here's the winner of the Limoges Le Lyon oh, stage. Oh, that's all Congratulations stage. to him. He managed to maneuver perfectly to snatch this victory. He can savor this moment. He's amongst the leading riders this and year. Here's the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. It is a moment that he soon won't forget and which marks his career. Come on, let's applaud him once more. We can say that the tour is going ideally for him. Here's the polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. Let's hope for his sake that things go as well in the future, but for now, he can relish the moment. Let's see, that was a good stage for us. The old classification, uh, Alberto Condor is leading, and he's got a decent time to Valverde, Nibali, Quintana, Room lost two minutes, that's much. And Sagan lost almost seven minutes to Condor on that stage. And that is today's date, and tomorrow is another state, but it's more flat states. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.